On this beautiful fall evening, many people turning out a guaranteed rate field to watch the White Sox. Then for many of the other teams, games this season. Yeah, and many are interested to witness if the Sox get the most losses in modern baseball history. And WGN's Christine Flores is there joining us with more now. Christine. Ray and Micah, good evening. It was a last night home game of the season for the White Sox, who started off strong with a 2 to nothing lead. People made their way to the stadium tonight, some hoping to witness history, others anticipating a win. The game currently at the bottom of the eighth, tied. To hopefully witness history. I've been a fan for 20 plus years, and I've never been more disappointed in a team as I have this year. There's sun above the clouds, so you know, next year, you know, you start it all over, um, you know, forget about what happened this year and then next year, hopefully we put a better team on, on the field for fans to come out and watch. No, I'm not going to watch history happen. Hopefully not tonight. Fans showed a range of sentiments towards tonight's game as the White Sox hosted the Los Angeles Angels for game two of the three game series. Tuesday, the boys won against the Angels, avoiding setting the modern era MLB record for the most losses in a season. I'm here tonight hoping to end this whole thing and regroup for next season. The White Sox announced more than 18,000 people were in attendance Wednesday night, nearly 1,000 more than the crowd Tuesday night. Both teams will meet again tomorrow afternoon for game three. That's before the White, that, and then the White Sox rather will head on over to Detroit. For now, reporting live outside of Guaranteed Rate Field, Christine Flores, WGN News. All right, thank you for that, Christine.